Welcome to MC57. We're going to do this problem today. We've been working a lot in class on balancing the scale. And for you parents out there that don't know what's going on with the homework with these pictures of scales, hopefully this will help you as well. Okay, we start off with an equation here. This is MC57. It says, solve the equation, substitute for x to make sure you are correct. Remember, that's called the proof important word for you to learn for next year. All right, our question is, what can I do to both sides here so I can end up with my goal, which is to have x on one side and some number on the other side? It's going to take several steps. First step, as we've talked about in class, is to pick something small and do that first. So I'm thinking, take away 2x from both sides. Now you don't have to write this on your paper. I'm just writing down what I'm thinking. So if I start off like this with 2x's and 3 negatives on one side of the scale and 4x's and 9 negatives on the other side of the scale then if I take away 2x from both sides, what I have is, I'll draw a new scale here. I still have three negatives over here. I only have two x's left on this side. And I still have my nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I still have my nine negatives left on that side. So to rewrite this picture that I've drawn, I now have negative three on one side and I have 2x and 9 negatives on the other side. Now I have my x's on one side. I want to get my numbers together on the other side. So I want to think what can I do to both sides so that I can uh, get rid of this 9 over here, this negative 9. Well, I could add 9 to both sides. Let's do that and see what it looks like. So if I draw the scale over here, if I add 9 to both sides, I still have my three negatives, but now I'm going to add 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And these pairs here make 0. Those are 0 pairs, or a neutral field. That means that's 0. On the other side, I still have my two x's, and I have nine negatives, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm adding nine positives. Remember I said add nine to both sides. That's the key, is doing this thing to both sides. What I have over here is a bunch of zero pairs. That's a neutral field, which means that's zero. <clears throat> So to rewrite what I have now, what's left on this side of the scale is 6. And what I have on the other side of the scale is 2x. One more question. What can I do to both sides so that I end up with 1x left? Well, I can't take away x from both sides because I don't have an x on both sides to take away. But what I can do, as we've talked about in class, I can divide both sides by 2. Let's do that. So I'm going to take what's on each side of the scale and cut it in half. So I have two x's here. I have six positives here. So I'm going to take half and get rid of it. And then I'm going to take half of these and get rid of them. What do I have left? I have 3 left on one side, x left on the other side. I have solved the equation. Now the second thing it asks me to do is, if I go back up and look at the directions, substitute for x to make sure you are correct. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to rewrite the problem and now I'll use substitution. Wherever I see an x, I'll use a 3. 
2 times 3 minus 3 equals 4 times 3 minus 9. Now if my answer is right and I do the math here, I'll end up with a statement that is true. 2 times 3 is 6. 4 times 3 is 12. 6 minus 3 is 3. 12 minus 9 is 3. That is a true statement. 3 equals 3. Last time I checked, therefore, x equals 3 is the correct answer. And I'm done. Hopefully that will help you with this type of problem in the future. Stay tuned for more exciting videos from the desk of Mr. Witcher. Seacrest out.